Khan, who won his fight by unanimous decision. Um, Connor, how are you feeling? Yeah, a bit sore, but good. A bit sore. Um, so the fight itself, it was um, very sort of very intense at moments. There were times, especially within the clinch, you were landing a lot of success with the knees, but quite a few times you were in really close contact with each other. Um, so how are you feeling with that? Obviously, like you say, you've took a few shots yourself, a little bit of damage to the lip. Yeah, it's just all part of it, isn't it? It's just memories. Yeah, just, just memories. Just memories. <laughs> Um, so, uh, talk, talk to me a little bit about sort of leading up to the fight. What was the fight camp like? Like, what was there any specific like game plans? Did you have a specific combo or anything that you was gonna um, sort of use? Um, I just train all the time, and then we just implement what we do on the on him. It's like our style. The style we turn at our gym. It's like an anti style against you know traditional Thai. Yeah. So, see what he does. Yeah. Do you are you the type of fight like uh, some people um, watch beforehand sort of thing? So uh, looking at the opponents and sort of breaking down their technique and trying to figure out what they would do, or are you the one that sort of just goes in and adapts in the moment, or sort of a little bit of a mix of both? Like how how would you describe yourself before the fight, analysing the other? Like I watch like the fight like once or twice, but I found if you you know if you watch too much, then you expect them yeah. to be a certain way or to do a certain thing. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, you've got to be ready to adapt at the same time. Like, obviously, a little bit, a little bit of preparation, know what you're coming against, but being able to adapt in the moment. Which, to be fair, I think you did really well. Yeah, and he'd just been to Thailand, but sometimes you don't know like what they're how good or how hungry the opponent are, is that you know that they're fighting, and it's different when you're fighting someone who I choose to do it. Ties us do it because it's life to them. Yeah, but for me, like winning's everything. Yeah, so, so you've still definitely got that hunger. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. It, with ties, you know, you question it sometimes. You know, like, oh, did he just get an easy win because he's from a nice country and if pays a gym, but it's tough. It was an hard fight, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. It did look like a really good fight. I think towards the, towards the end of the rounds, you were definitely sort of looking a little bit more comfortable. You was landing, I think you landed like three right hands on him, like on the yeah. balance side, very, very clean. So a lot of your shots towards the end of the rounds, especially, were really, really clean. I don't know if it was a combination of obviously just timing them perfectly and his hands were dropping because he was tired. Um, but yeah, it must feel, how does it feel when you land like such a clean shot and then you land like three on the bounce? Yeah, because you build into it. So after the first one, then you know that that's a range. And then yeah. once your things start working, and you like you find a home for it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I did. I felt that as well. Like I say, like the longer it went on, you could feel you getting sort of more comfortable. And you'd figured out his range, and yeah, that, that yeah, really could, came across. I could feel him tire him, and there weren't as much on his shots. It was tricky with his elbows, but my like my yeah. first shots, but yeah. I saw at the end of one of the rounds, he sort of like he didn't. He sort of like shimmied to the Bumps corner. Yeah, the and corner. I, I saw you like sort of point to the ref. Like, what was that about? What were you saying to the ref? Like, because like even though it was only a sweep, like. What are you doing rolling like bum shuffling you yeah, gotta get up. Yeah. You gotta get up, that's it. So what 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 would um what were you telling the ref like sort of like should should it be have been stopped at that point like oh, at least yeah yeah yeah, yeah. expecting a count. Get, if you can't just get up then that means yeah, that's very rough, actually, yeah. Yeah. there should be a count involved. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so I, I was listening to a couple of your interviews and like sort of reading some of the comments you said. And you said that you train. Um, you've got quite like a good family vibe. Like you train with your dad, your coach, your best yeah. friend. Um, how and you've got quite a few of them today. I've had a little chat. Yeah. Um, so how important is that to you to feel that support and to have that to have people in your corner that are family as well, so you know that it's like it's pure trust and love. Yeah, because sometimes you can just think like you don't know if your coach actually really will curse, wants to do the all the extra stuff with you, but yeah. when you've got someone that is willing to do all the extra stuff yeah. with you, then it's different and you, you've got that family bond where it's not just you on your own going running at super eight o'clock in the morning, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a team thing and yeah. a family base. I love that you can really feel it as well. Like I say I've had a little chat with him, and it, and it is a, a lovely, a lovely feel behind it. Like you can tell, it's just such genuine love and support, and obviously uh, they've all obviously got your best interest. Um, is it ever difficult working with family? Like, if it, is there ever a time where you sort of think um, you have a different opinion, or you might clash, or you're too close, and it's that personal professional line? Do you ever struggle with that, or is it always just a case of you know they've got your back? Um, yeah, it's more. Sometimes we do have our little tiffs, but mainly it's that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, I'll feel like something should go one way, but obviously Gordon knows what, what he's talking about, so yeah. I've got to trust him. So you've just got complete trust in your coach. That's yeah. amazing. I love yeah. that. Um, so looking forward now, like what what is the what's the next step for you? Do you have any more fights lined up? Is there anyone you want to call out? Like what are you thinking? Hopefully, I'm fighting on a Pete Spencer show in November on the 19th. Yeah. 
just waiting for something to be confirmed. Oh, so I, was, I thought we were going to get like a little exclusive copy there, so we were just waiting confirmation. Yeah. Amazing. Well, listen, thanks so much for your time. I mean, I know it's not easy for me to come and grab you when you've just come out of a fight. I'm sure you want to go and spend time with your family, so thanks for coming over. Uh, before I let you go, do you want to shout out uh, sort of your gym, your personal pages, so we can at them, we can tag them in? Yeah, um, Locker Dye, my strength oh, yeah, and conditioning coach, yeah. Natalie. Yeah. And then um, I've got um, two on the back. Um, RM Plaster in, and then, uh, oh no, that's a seller one, isn't it? The RM Sellers, and then the LM Plaster one. Them two are my two sponsors. Amazing. Yeah. And what's the name of your gym and your personal Insta, just so we can get you tagged on those? Connorborn, and then um, Physique is the gym. Physique is the gym. Yeah. Amazing. Listen, congratulations. Go and enjoy the rest of the night. Well Thank deserved you. win. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Here we go.